What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Do Love 9 here. Welcome to part 2 of the uh, 100 Greatest Smash 4 Moments. Now we're going to go through 80 to 61, but before we get to that, I'm going to start by giving you a preview of the last part. So uh, we'll get right into that, and then after that, we'll head right into number 80. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, I, I have no words. We, we all know how great this is right now. We just, we just gotta wait for the kill. <gasps> oh my goodness! Did it. And Blind I Wizard does it! it. Aggressive. Oh, Did you see? <gasps> okay, okay, so right there, Captain Zack, he couldn't grab Edge again. That's why he went with a high recovery. What? And here it what? is! What? He did it! Oh no, oh, Captain no! Zack! Captain Zack gets the win! Okay. No, you're oh, so dumb! You're so dumb! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I'll touch you! Chain mode combos. Oh, uh, you dead. <gasps> oh. I have to go. Oh. Hey. Your fault, dude. It's it is. A... Oh. oh, don't no. do this no. to him! No! Oh my god! I have those crazy grab confirmed. Oh, oh no! God. Not worried about sitting back. I just find his opportunities. Oh, that is. Pretty much just a good spin dash confirm separates them in terms of percent, but the weight and kill power are also oh, things to consider. Oh, it's a wild charges I'm seeing right here, but however, he got the lead, so I can't really be too mad. How's he landed? Yep, kind of felt that one coming. It was either that or the uh, oh, from deep. Oh, I saw oh. Like, you are so good. Yeah, oh, gosh, damn. Whoa, oh. hey, All batter, right. batter, batter. All right. Swing. I mean, you can see that near the end of the game, Renai was definitely starting to get it. Oh, and that's what and we were talking it. about. And there it is, and that's that. The second one right there, potentially saving Bayonetta with the high percent that she's at. What? what? Wow. I... Oh, he's finding his way back onto the ground. Great neutral air from Kameme, sealing out that first stock from Levy. 104% deficit, and the up tilt takes it again. The crowd erupts. Levy from Mexico. Oh, oh, my God, I got that on screen. Definitely taking his time. He knows wow. composure is going to be a huge part in this competition. Oh, my gosh, wow. that pivot down tilt. That is one of my favorite things that he does. Gets that and gets the... <laughs> Oh, oh that God. is beautiful. Get him, Ninja. I mean, <laughs> right? He's still in it. Though. Oh, Dude. No. no. I think he has actually. Wait. Like, I... I'm not sure what's happening here, folks, but it looks like Fatality. Okay, unfortunately. Okay, he's, he's, okay, he's, he's still he's making playing. it back he's to playing. the ledge. But he is looking for these Falcon Punches a I little mean, bit. I think he is a little bit shook, unfortunately, by the events of today. And I think he's actually done the calculations and perhaps... It's smart. The priority on count is so <gasps> And there it is. That's the hoo -ah! Using that neutral air, trying to make Ally fade back, but I feel like if he keeps jumping like that, he's definitely going to get up smashed. Oh, there it is! There was very good uh, read right there. I mean, Abadango was definitely uh, air dodging quite a bit. And now Six is just starting to... Oh! oh! oh my God. Who said Sonic is not hype? On the two count there. Oh, the hype is just missing! Yeah, there's like finding enough throw though. The trade It's not going to be a death. We already know Bayonet is going to make it back. But let's see if we get a ledge trap here. Ooh! Handsome with the Watch double death! Oh! Oh! oh my god! <laughs> wow. We only did 45 damage. He's dead. That was nasty. And mm. a cup of coffee with no sugar, man. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. Look at that. Right oh my Starbucks. gosh. Oh no. Is he. D oh god. no. <laughs> yep, Fatality definitely running it back here to FD. No, he got caught in no man's land yo, right there. Yo! The infinite yo! D! Dude! <laughs> oh, really needs to start working here. Getting the double hit off that too. Alright, now Cloud is in advantage right here, but only for a tiny bit. Okay, oh my, you. that could have been really bad. <gasps> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. In Fire Emblem Saga, there was a side event called Squad Assault. It consisted of triple teams, three teams per side. And on the grand finals match, there was uh, a match between two Robin mains and Dath. 
versus the boys, which consisted of MK Leo, Javi, and Levi. When it got to the nitty gritty, it got down to MK Leo versus Death, and then things got insane. Sage does not get two frames. Beautiful oh, back back will do it. Oh my god! He, he has the that. door on, on deck. All he needs to do. Oh my oh, god! Tech. Tech. We'll keep him alive. What? He's actually here in the game. Death. Throw to come back. Where is this? Throw around. Beautiful the book save him. He, the the book, he needed will it. Save him. He needed it. Six and three. MK Lane right now. Death needs to grab the edge. There it is. Normal get up. Actually goes for the jump right there. Grabs on the platform. The final smash! Ball. The final Yo, smash! Can we get Crow we'll to get end it? the game? Oh. More Daph, if he gets Woo. it, he might get it. But instead, oh. MKLeo has he it right now. What is Daph going to do against the, all the, on it's here? A bad Get Spike! Spike on the stage. If there wasn't a lot of cooldown after that down there, he could have gotten it. Oh. Oh. What a counter! Beautiful oh. job! MKLeo, oh. Javi, oh. and Rifle, the boys, they take oh. it! All right, so Sandstorm is a Ryu player, or was a Ryu player, from our region, Central PA. And he went to this tournament that was in New Jersey. It was called Royal Flush. And, you know, being that, you know, this is a local uh, boy of ours, you know what I'm saying, it was pretty amazing how good he got at the game uh, once Ryu came out. And in this tournament, he made it far enough to to face against Captain Zack, you know, Bayonetta and all. And he actually beat him, which we I thought was amazing. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a little biased, but, you know, it's my list. And bullet arts. Yeah, no, he's definitely showed his ooh, fearlessness ooh. right now. This could be big damage. Oh, looking for the follow-up. He goes for a grab. That was an interesting option. Let's focus attack, lead. too. Weak down tilt into a true shore. You can, oh my goodness. Sandstorm able to cancel it. Yes. And uh, you can you can leave the situation with focus. Okay, looking for the oh up smash read, but that's going to be a great focus from Sandstorm. Not a not a great punish, but you know what? I like that he recognized the situation. It does not matter. That's going to be a two-stock victory for Sandstorm. A lot of credit in a lot of different ways, but his recovery has been immaculate, too, this set. Oh, for sure. Zach's had to pull out all the stops whenever he wants an edge guard. Scary situation, oh, though. He catches him with the up tilt. That's going to be a true shore. You can it oh is. my goodness, Sandstorm taking it 3-0 after Captain Zack. That is unbelievable, unbelievable play by Sandstorm. I cannot believe Back at SmashCon 2016, Fatality and Void were off to face each other. But Fatality went off with a very, very surprising pick. He chose Mario instead of the usual Captain Falcon. And um, it actually became a pretty iconic moment. Uh, you know, um, I needed that, dude. Oh, I so, needed that in my morning. Game number two. You know, there's obviously there has to be a game number two. I'm not going to say who's going to win this match, but there has to be a game number two. Yeah, there will inevitably be a game number two. <laughs> um, oh, oh okay. a word? All right. A word? All okay. right. Yo, Vitaly looking over here like, I heard you, homie. <laughs> All right, so even after that... uh. After that game, it's Dude, still it, not looking too It's good. still not over. <laughs> yeah. I've seen Void SD with there. <gasps> oh, my God! oh my God! Oh my goodness! Are you serious? What did I just see? Is this real? No, no, no. I, that I was go, a button no, check. That was no, a button check. No, no. Uh, I quit Super Smash Bros. for a no. today. I quit. Genesis 3 provided us. With a lot of good matches in the latter half of the bracket, one of those matches was DeBuzz versus Nairo. I believe DeBuzz was up 2-0 at this point, and, you know, facing uh, Nairo was pretty much unheard of if you weren't Zero, you know, anyone from Japan, MKLeo, things like that. So DeBuzz getting this awesome spike at Genesis 3 to end the set was amazing. Back with the up smashes, and he's trying to go for Ada Airs with the back air. He's not scared of Nairo in the least. And every time you see Luma, oh, and that is it. Nairo is out to Buzz with a 3 0 victory. And the Buzz went Super Saiyan. Actually, just
Number 76 on the list is Renai's shield break punish to Naira at Civil War. With Renai being the villager expert that he is, it was nice to see this level of optimization. Uh oh. Oh! But Just a chop, I here... actually don't. Oh, hold up. Uh. No way. Oh my god! 53%?! Bro, that setup was lit. I, was, I wasn't that? ready. Oh my god. I wasn't ready. We were watching that setup and we were just ready for it, wondering what he could do, how much percent he could actually put on. But you know he lapped that. You know he was ready for that specific situation. I thought and he I was. And I came to play. I thought he was. So, at Mega Smash Mondays, they had a couple of people there that were synonymous with the Smash community. Two of these people were K9S Bruce and Mr. Khan Khan. They had this ongoing rivalry between Sheik and Luigi about who's better. And um, I think this was in bracket as well. So, you know, one of the things about it made it seem uh, more synonymous than it actually should have been. Um, it was just one of those things where it was that good old shit talk. And in this match, nothing was better than K9 as Bruce and his pop off to Mr. Khan Khan at the end and his uh, response to when he changed the angle of the TV. Yeah, All right, and he's uh, back. Up and up and up and up. Throws him out again. Oh, he chops him out. Chopped him for and doing he's probably looking. No, he's looking no, he goes on stage. I like it. Good dash attack. Oh, oh. Guys, dude, they don't like each other. Dude, this, this is this is a culmination of MSM after MSM after Wednesday night fights after MSM. This is Full rage is Sheik, 160. You're living at this percent with Sheik at 160? This is a dangerous life. Oh my, yeah, he, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh no, yeah, oh yeah. He did a jab. Oh my, he's just walking at him. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, okay, he is frustrated. Yep. This is it. Better find something. You wanna get, you wanna go out like a... Yeah, you can't go out. Oh, like a pump, isn't it? No, 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 no. Nope, not yet. That's it! That is it! Yes! Two stuff! One of the first crew battles that will appear on this list is the Frostbite 2017 crew battle between USA and the Japan regions. I thought this had some pretty good pairings, some pretty good matchups, and overall, Komo Rikiri takes it home for the Japan. But um, other than that, it was just a really hype crew battle, one of many. Um, so yeah. Yeah, and it's a lot easier to break out of Alomar's grabs, too, due to the fact it's so much lag for Alomar to pull you in when you're far away. Dang. So it gives you more time to break out. Sometimes yep. you can break out before one bubble. Katari, I feel like you just put a tweak on Ultra Blast right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. You're like that, man. You had all the time in the world, baby. Oh, but we might have a ding. <laughs> oh, go back. Yep. Shuriken. He can't throw shurikens right now, actually, versus Ally because of Mario's cape. Against other characters, you'd probably see Greninja's throw way more shurikens. Oh and the backer is going to take it. 69% ally is on fire. <laughs> Did you hear her in yeah. the background? Wadi. Before she was like, go Wadi. Now she's like, Wadi. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> anyway, here we go. All right, you're going to do that safe recovery. Oh, Ooh, that was clean. All right, never mind. Ken, Ken, Ken's like, I. Fighting to save the world.
or at least Japan, because they're down a whole bunch of stocks right now. Uh-oh, TSM chance are here? Oh, no, they didn't Oh, we got TSM so Every time he says T Yo, hey. Oh, my God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Who's going to go risky, go off the stage and do the cross slash? I, I don't know what to say, because sooner or later, one neutral air. Yeah, uh, even an up throw could KO. Oh my and gosh. there it is! Kobe Rikki for Japan takes it! In 2018, Philadelphia had a tournament called Smash Sounds, where it combined beatboxing and Smash Brothers together. And in the midst of the tournament, they had a beatboxing tournament and some of the individuals that came were pretty notorious beatboxers around the area. I just thought this was something different. This was something cool that, you know, you don't usually see in Smash Brothers. So, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a beatboxing competition going on between Kenny Urban and One Known. But, um, you know, yeah, I just thought this was very unique and why I made it on this list. We need your decision in three, two, one. This game's winner is Kenny Urban. Make some noise for one no. This dude is a legend. Back at Evil 2016, Kameme, you know, formerly known as Kamamushi, um, was in bracket against Mr. R and Mega Man had this blade combo from a footstool that every Mega Man loved to do, but Kamamushi was the master of it. And this is one of my favorite moments that happened during EVO. I'm so scared. Oh, God! There it oh, is. There it is. There it is. So good. Kamamushi gets the KO. Footstool. The raging demon combo. <laughs> I can't. I... The screen goes black. Mr. R's chic dead on the floor. In his prime, Zero could not be defeated. But at this tournament, it was long overdue after the streak, but 2017 showed that Zero still had it, and he won this tournament in a very Zero-esque fashion. I'm saying, like, we all had, there's a bunch of questions that need answers right now, and we're going to need all these answers at the end of this game. Got to find out right here. Oh, Ooh. okay. Okay, oh, zero. he doesn't have to delete the, the tweet because zero. Believe him. Take that, boy, take, boy, take that, Jack. Walk there. Go ahead, boy. Stun on him. Just like that. Now, that's, that's what I'm talking about, man. Thinking about this, like, thinking about it like this. Mr. R was doing so well, and all Zero really needed to do was put him in that same position where all Smash 4 Doubles had a lot of teams that destroyed the bracket, and Leo Ahavi was one of them. At Smash Factor 5, they had a godlike cloud combo that just I've never seen before, and the reason why it's so high on this list. Say and uh, Yoshi or something. Oh, oh there, no. there we go. There we go. Oh, tennis. Oh my gosh. He's Please just stop. A, he's oh, just a no. He's just a young dinosaur. Leave him alone. <laughs> why? Why are you doing this? Was... The Smash community has a lot of locals that caught my eye over the years, but I don't know where exactly this is at, but uh, it's called Revolt 2017. There was a salty suite that I just so happened to find. These two players were in a $50 money match, and for some apparent reason, things get crazy where they start taking their shirt off and a lot of a lot of hype moments going on in here he just has his numbers it's too much man oh he didn't even kill oh my god 
This is intense. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude! Let's go! Again. Oh, getting the grabs. He's just catching his shield so Good. well. Oh! Wow. Stuff the approach with the Oh, and he taunted on him, too. Oh, and the taunt. But he is at 137. Oh! 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 He grabbed him. He looked oh, into his soul. Oh, oh, and he did. And the shirt is up. Oh, let's go, Reds. Oh, and he throws his shirt. Let's go, Reds. He said, hold that. Oh, no. What does it do? Look. Oh, oh, oh he threw the Reds. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That kid is going to look. Oh, not like yet. Six, six. Dude, anything. I feel like. Oh, oh, oh no, I feel like if, if Cloud breathes on oh, me, she's that, dead. that upper would have done it. Well, Rain Dash Brand attack kills. Oh, oh it's, yeah. it's, it's over! It's over! It's over. Yeah. Let's go, Red! Oh, the hand, the hug, the respect. Oh, the respect. The respect. Hug. He has to get on the knees and give him the money. The Reds is just so. Oh, he's oh putting it in the cell! Reds! <laughs>beat Ally, who was with Cloud9, and, you know, the resume of Ally is unprecedented. So when we saw this low-tier upset, it was a huge, huge deal. Down air to down tilt there to put on some more damage. Just lots of great play coming out from your Komodo. Just oh. knows his character so well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Missed that grab. That's going to be a lot of damage. Grab. 105%. One up smash away. One down up smash, smash away. Back air at the ledge, even. Oh, my gosh. Komodo's playing that. another level right now. Oh, good stuff by Ally coming down for the aerial attack. Oh, he went for that back already. He's looking for the kill. He's looking there for the kill. There it is! There it is! Kimono beats Ally! Oh Kimono beats Ally! He doesn't even know how to react! Gosh. Cloud9, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Oh my gosh! <laughs> He's like, what? What did I, what did did that, I do? Did that just happen? Oh no! Ally, kind of the master for losing to people that you might not have heard much about, but you're going to know a whole lot about Komodo starting right now. Good stuff. EVO 2016, we got to see a stream match between Kiraflex and a Little Mac whose name I will not say. Um, but to be honest, this is on here because of the last few moments. Uh, it was just really intense. Plus, you know, it is Little Mac and Kiraflex is very passionate about the game. So just wanting to see him win and things like that was just more iconic than uh, we thought it was going to be. Kiraflex, oh, putting in some combos. Kiraflex. We got, we got people in the crowd getting hyped for him. He's trying to see if he can keep the little Mac in the air, but misses that opportunity. Oh, just a dash right. attack, though, just to keep him up in the air again. Kiraflex, jab one, two, three, popping, popping little Mac up, and the down throw, still more juggles. Here's the little Mac going to land. Manages Kiraflex. to drop shield after hits two and three of the up smash. No, he is out just Kiraflex right does now. not punish it properly, though. And there's the problem. Now Kiraflex has to land yet again. He gets knocked up. Right There's now. a KO punch on deck. No, I like Is he going to get hit? I like the way he's getting down to the Is ground Is he going right to get now. hit? Careflax. Careflax, it's it forward. Little Mac. Playing it patient. Yes, like Careflax stands up. Woo! I thought he was about to get hit. And he had to elevate because he's on a platform. That makes perfect sense to me right there. I'm just saying, he was on a platform. He also elevated himself in outside of the game. He has to be one with this character. Yep. Right, here we go. I, don't, I mean, he can't time him out because the Little Mac is the one with lower percent. It's, what's he going to do? He's like, all right, I'm going to play the matchup. I'm going to hang out on the platforms. I mean, I think it's okay for him to, like, do this whole kind of timeout strategy. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Okay, as I was all saying, right. I think it's okay for him to try to do this uh, timeout strategy uh, down to, like, maybe, like, the last, like, 30 seconds. He only really need one hit to make. Did he try to loop arrow? He tried to No, you didn't try to loop arrow. Oh! Wait, I can't see anything. Oh, no! 
All right, we're back. No, uh, nothing happened. I, I think he might have got a hit right there. It looked like he was charging down smash, but he didn't actually. Uh, oh, we're back. Goodness. What was that punish? I don't know. That was punish. Down, 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 down there. Very nice. Yep, popping him up in the air. Oh, oh down he's got it all. There it is. There it is. Representing Team Look. You got what it takes, man. PU55Y K1NG takes it. He bet it all, man. He Woo. bet it all. Like that up smash. I, I don't even. He just had to, that's that's the that's the gamble, man. That last stock, last hit gamble, and you lose it, and you just don't feel good about it, man. If you so here we are at House of Three Thousand. We have a match between Devin Three Thousand and Redline. A very unfortunate situation here, but I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, so Redline, who plays Roy was arguing that something was going on with his controller and he was facing against you know the kirby and he takes a stock and then ends up pausing the game and then lots of controversy happens after that Ooh. that four tail is so vicious oh my god get him out of here oh Forward tilting him right back. Neutral B is going to put on? some damage on. Redline, this have you learned your lesson oh from before? Don't try to punish it. Look at that. It's, 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 try to punish it. If you, you can try, but you better come with your, your quickest gun. You know, you got yeah. to pull that card out. You can't just go with a smash attack or something. Oh, Ooh, good reaction. Of, yeah, up B out of shield in that short hop. <laughs> Devin looking like, up like, uh, yeah. all right. Devin short. Uh, Too late. Too late. You lose a stock, dude. You lose a stock for that That's one. Oh, he's trying to argue it. This is awkward. It is red line, red line, red line. Oh my god. Red line. It is way too late. It is way too. You took a stock. You took a stock. Yo. You took a stock. Is there TO? You took a stock. Red line. You took a stock. No, I'm going to take the front for this. You took a stock. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm not a TO and I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You took a stock. That is your fault. That's a That's a really dumb suggestion. John. That is even if, if even if that's not in the rule set, that's like Come on. You took a stock. I don't want to. Okay. I mean, Devin didn't do it, so it's not his fault. Is it? Hey, that's that's the thing. You got to you got to make those calls. There you go, buddy. All there the you go. The You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Don't get to do that. Oh. You're playing a tournament, buddy. You better concentrate. I'm not your opponent. <laughs> I'm the caster. Right, this match is not over. Has a way. Despite the lost stock, this match is oh not my God. over. I think he was waiting to see if ledges would appear, but they didn't. So he was like, oh, I'll just stop on him. Oh, Gets him with the ice shield that's back gonna here. That's going to be it. Ah, control. I'm genuinely furious. I'm genuinely mad. Genuinely. This is Genuinely. Salt. 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 But you took a stock. Salt. Salt. You realize you can't argue this, right? Salt. K9 having one of the most intense matches at Pound 2016 showed it in his pop-off against MVD. Now, there's a lot of emotions riding on this, and I'm sure that MVD was happy for him, but K9 is the star of this, as you will see when he runs into the door. Dang. Goes for the down throw, back throw. Ahead, but there's the back to watch the bouncing fish. Is it gonna throw it out? He goes the wrong direction, almost dies, but not quite. He's gonna get back to the ledge. Up good, smash good on weight. Crazy. Excellent weight, though. <laughs> oh, the pivot grab into the back of the bouncing fish. That's going to close it out. That was the highest jump I've ever seen in my entire life from a smash. Oh, my player. God. He's breaking the doors. He's breaking the doors. He left. He, he, okay. You, you guys saw it. That was. I don't know who that guy is popping off with him, but I guess he just wanted to be. The man there. saw the door. He said, hello, knock, knock. It's me. I'm in top 32. Let's go.
Zero competed at a lot of tournaments, and Endgame was just another bounty on his list. At this tournament, like I said before, um, Smash 4 brought a lot of people together from different Smash communities, and in the finals, it was the upstart from Brawl Zero versus M2K from Melee, and they were in grand finals. What makes this moment special was the reset that gave Zero the win, and he JV3'd him. A JV is when you win against your opponent without taking any damage or any stock loss. And in those days, you had two stocks, and a JV just added another stock to it. It's a weird rule, but that's what happened, and it was pretty amazing to see that the king was still at his throne no matter who it was. Our pick here going straight into it. And here we go, game four. Another dance attack straight out the gate from Mewtwo King gets him grabbed. And here comes Diddy grab stuff. And man, both of these players just mainstays in the upper echelons of bracket for years now, especially Mewtwo King. He's been around since way before Brawl came out. That's oh, it, that's though. It. A zero to death from zero. Mewtwo mm. King just barely whiffing that sweet spot range. That was a very melee zero to death. Yeah, One well, of the only characters that you can really do that on. Oh, oh no! no. That's, that's it. That's a JV3. No, 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 it's not. Okay, okay, okay. He made it back to the stage. This tournament's not over yet, folks. That's, now it is. Oh my god. Zero just JV3 Mewtwo King. He did! To win the tournament. Oh my. SmashCon 2016, we saw the Buzz versus Ryuga. And in this match, you know, uh, it was very intense. You know, normal match between two pro players, the Buzz using Olimar this time, and Ryuga always using Corrin. But after the uh, the first match, um, we had a little bit of the peanut gallery, uh, particularly um, a player named Day. And uh, I don't know what he was shouting, but it got to the point where the Buzz needed to say something, and we'll let you see what happens from there. Oh, great the eye by the living, but Look. he doesn't have priority. Is he going to be able to land? Ryuga not going for the edge guard attempt. The Buzz re grabbing the lead, though, and he is a very light character. And so Up light. Up does kill. Up does kill. Look at the Buzz. Wait, where's the Buzz going? Where are you going? <laughs> he just got him immediately after, after that. Is there a problem somewhere? I think I, I think the buzz is uh, getting a little riled up by the crowd or people cheering. Is it the crowd or was it the taunt? Was it tweaking yet? <laughs> Yeah, he's talking to somebody. Yeah, he's talking to Day. Somebody probably saying something that he doesn't want to hear. Or maybe he's mad that Day uh, coached Ryuga a little bit. It's possible. But uh, we're going to try and see what's going on here. <laughs> the buzz sitting back down. Yeah, um, hopefully Ryuga doesn't let that get to him. It doesn't really seem like he is. He's like, Even when Day was talking to him, he wasn't really like moving or anything. He, he hasn't been saying much. He did taunts a couple times. Maybe, maybe they just told him the taunt during the set. No clue what's actually happening. And uh, there's an issue. The buzz is not happy about it. We will find out what's going on. They backing up, shouting. What um, is happening? <laughs> But they will get started at some point. And I think Anti is coming with headphones, actually, because maybe he was being a little bit distracted. OK, that makes sense. The crowd is probably loud. I know Day likes to uh, like you know, decide bets during tournaments and cheer for his boys. That might be his. Nothing too crazy by any means. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do to win. If, if this is what the buzz needs, you got to do it. <laughs> Low key, he might be stalling, man, but whatever it takes. <laughs> well, if I beat him. At Momocon, we saw the legendary rivalry between Mario and Sonic go off with Ally and Komorakiri. The thing about Sonic in Smash 4, he was very good at camping and keeping distance because of his speed. So Komorakiri's plan was to time out the clock to get the first round, but Ally and his resiliency and his will to never give up showed different. Bring it out yet again with a jab. 
Ali opted to go for some low committal moves in order to try to challenge Spin Dash or Spin Charge. Yeah, and that's it's really unfortunate because most of his low committal stuff doesn't really lead to much damage. So even if he is able to get some hits like that, you know, he's not going to get much more off of it. Ali's running back in. It's with a downer trying to punish the spot dodge with an up air. All right, well, less than a minute remains, and Kobori Kiri is up. Uh, you know, honestly, if he does get timed out this match, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Ally switch the cloud to go to game number two. <laughs> what the heck? I thought Ally was going to get uh, something, was, but then Kobo just was That was some actual of cartoon stuff. <laughs> yeah, because when you're out of double jumps after using an up B, but he still did it anyways because he got the footstool jump. Ally needs to figure out something as soon as possible. I don't think he has enough time to really rack up enough damage and also find that KO attack. He might have to do something crazy, get Sonic off stage and uh, go for a forward air, but I don't think Kamori Kree is going to let that happen. Just yeah. I feel like he's not going to put himself into that scenario. With 15 seconds left on the clock, this first game looks like it's going to Kobo Rikiri. Yeah, Ally's chasing man. him so relentlessly. There's not much he can do. Uh, there's things he can do, man. He oh, oh, no no way. Goodness. He did it. I told he pushed you. Him off. I Six told seconds you, the clock. my friend, there is How still are you doing? something he can do. There is still something he can do. And Ally not losing hope. At the end of the day, you know, I still, I still think what? it's going to be very, very unlikely. Seeing low tier characters defeat, you know, staples of the community uh, is one of my favorite things about Smash Brothers. And at Combo Breaker 2017, um, Meister beats Tyroy with a uh, Game and Watch of all characters, but he does it in a very interesting way. And the Tyroy chance have erupted. Meister, though, looking to put it into it. He might not get the chance. Tyroy taking him to the He's top. Whoa, oh, no! Wait a no second! Wait way. a second! That's the Mr. Game & Watch theme playing! Game & Watch just did it! What in the world?